I don't actually know how many points I need. Screw off, game. <laughs> I don't actually know how many points I need. But I will get up to that, uh... Whoops. No, that's the wrong button. That crown. Maybe I need the crown to challenge him. I'll just get to the end of the crown and see what happens. That's what I think I'll do. Let me pick up some items. And then it was down for the photo, right? Can I not do it while I'm in the water? Are you kidding me? Oh, I just can't do it while... No! I fat fingered the Y button. Here. Uh. Oh, it's the right stick. I was so confused why my left stick wasn't working. There. I did it again. Even though you'd already asked me that. Travel for over 500 yards. Ah! There's my excuse to run around and see things. The other one was... Okay, auto battle. So... Yeah, maybe I'll just trek around and see what's out there. See what this place even looks like. Mayhap. Whoa. No! Be gone with you. Guess I should be auto battling along the way as well. Get you out of here. Auto battle. How about... Boink. Maybe you can just be... Just whatever. I can't word sometimes. Words are hard. You know how it is. Here, go do stuff. Understand your frustration now? I probably will once I see how many points it takes to do the thing where Bob's. Maybe as I loop around, I'll check it with uh, whoever's over here. Something or other. It wants me to take another photo of a Pokemon that's swimming? They sure are creative with these categories, aren't they? I do have to say. <laughs> well, here's my photo of a Pokemon that's swimming. That doesn't count. That sure does, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't with this game. What happens if I try to battle you? Can I even? Like... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> My favorite aquatic Pokemon. <laughs> it's Sauzbuck. Did Sauzbuck just decide that it had enough of life and it was gonna drown itself? Oh yeah, it's just like Legends Arceus where they treat the water no differently than the land. Oh, can I battle you? Can I do it in some way? I want to see what happens. Wait, there was a target button, right? Oh, yeah, there was. Crap, how do I... I don't know what the heck is going on, man. Ah! What even is that? Is there any way that I can initiate a battle with you? I would love to initiate a battle with you. Wait. Ah. Oh. I don't even know how Sawsbuck got out here. Staring at me like, what are you looking at? Hmm? Can't get off a of Coridon. Dude, what if you encountered a shiny Pokemon and it did this on you? <laughs> it was just impossible to battle. Try Wug Trio? Oh, that's a good, that's actually a good idea. It might actually be able to go down there. That's a good point. Back out of the menu now. Wait, so maybe if I like, what? Okay, hold on. Go, go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. That's so dumb. Wasn't in the budget, I guess. Any other water types? I might be able to access my boxes. I don't know if it'd be any different for any Pokemon that are specifically like a fish. 
or not as bitchy. <laughs> I have a literal dolphin. I that looks like it was named soaked after the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 expansion of the same name. Hold on. Come on. Ooh. But I can't go down. No! The tentacle killed me. So I can swim across the water with some Pokemon. I just can't actually really swim down in the water. Surface only. Yeah, this, uh, I bet you it's only a matter of time until someone encounters a shiny Pokemon that does this on them. <laughs> I bet you it's gonna happen one day. It's only a matter of time. Whether it'll be on camera, that remains to be seen. <laughs> what are you looking at? Can I climb out, please? Oh, I thought you were halfway merged through the rock. What? Why are there so many Sawsbuck out here? This does not look like Sawsbuck habitat. Oh, man. All right, pick up a bunch of items and auto battle. Oh, I apparently I already did the traveling without even realizing it. I really wanted to catch that Sawsbuck and name it something water related. I would love that to be the Pokemon that I catch. But I just don't think it's happening. Wait. Are you the one? Are you the same one? Because that one was stuck. I'm fairly certain the one that I wanted despawned in this is a different one. It's gotta be. Look, these guys are gone now too. I would have absolutely named that one something water related if, if I could have gotten that one. It would have been pretty hype. But alas, it's gone. Thank goodness it wasn't shiny. Mmm, beautiful environments. Uh. Pink. Clover sweet. That sounds like an item that you get in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I pressed A, I swear. Petal Blizzard. Ooh, the lag. Someone really enjoyed playing Minecraft out here. Oh yeah, don't I need to auto battle some... Some jerks here. Dang it! No, oh, I need to auto battle you. Darn it. Pokedex has been updated. Have I really not seen Oddish before? Maybe I should have caught the Oddish. Probably would have been easy to catch. Battle of Wild Terra Pokemon. Complete the thing. Oh. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out. Keep on gaining BP in the meantime. Rather make yourself a TM, I gotta catch a Pokemon. You're probably not all that high of level. Right. Maybe. Oh, you're still pretty high level. I don't remember what type you are. Are you still poison or are you something else? Oh well. Sucks to suck. Okay, well. Yoink, yoink. Do I have any quick balls? Should I just throw that? I uh, think that I should do. Catch rate of an Oddish has got to be pretty good. Um, Sure, try it, despite the fact that you're level 63. Maybe I can try Flower Trek and then you'll resist it. So, I mean... Wow, I'm getting a lot of these critical throws. Okay, well, I caught a Pokemon. All right. I like to give Oddish a nickname. What's another way to say Oddish? Let's see how good the sensor is on this. There's no shot. Okay, yeah, that one it does. But, whoops, whatever. I didn't want to give you a nickname too late. Call a fruit. I mean, 
You're just called Pikachu and you're just called Pyroar. And that one's Dwayne. Oh yeah, we did get one in a spicy situation. We don't have the uh, the water Sawsbuck, but we got the rock Flamingo at least. I have to be in the party to rename? Whatever, too much effort. Wrong button. Uh, Take a photo of a wild Pokemon that is swimming. This is so stupid. It just repeats the same handful over and over and over and over again. It's actually so bad. Sure. Yoink. Guess I'm not yoinking that one. Whoa. Is that a Terra Den or a wild Terra Pokemon? Terra Den. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I thought they introduced like a new Alolan form of Execute to evolve into that Alolan form of Executor. Nope. They just merged into one. Speaking of. That one might actually be on purpose, though. Okay. Where the heck? Oh, that's where you are. I guess I can see how much BP it takes. Well, I guess I can do. Then, uh... Battle of Wild Terror Pokemon. Photo of a Pokemon that's swimming. Are all locked behind Perrin? Whoops, dang it! What I intended to do. Alright, is there a wild Pokemon that's swimming around here? I do... Okay, I gotta travel again. Wild Pokemon that is swimming, huh? How many times have I done that now? Heck are you? Oh, you're the Alolan Dug Trio. Okay, load please, camera. There, I did it. Wow. Successfully sneak up on a Pokemon and surprise them with a battle. This is so dumb. No! I wasn't even touching you. My hitbox was big enough. Oh, there goes that Grimer. Oh, look at the polygons on that hair. Yeah, I guess to do that, essentially. Watch it turn out to be like a thousand to uh, challenge someone here. Let's see. Let's check it out. Is there a Healy thing? Is a Healy thing? These things are so bright and jarring on the eyes. Is there actually no Healy thing? Found it. What would you like to do? I would like to heal my Pokemon, thank you. Yeah, heal them up. Let's go any other Pokemon are all better now. Oh, and it auto saves there anyway. I was supposed to say it's been a while since I manually saved, so. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Harmonia, right? One of the BB League challengers. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the elite trial here. Okay, that's not actually that bad. Sure. Maybe Dex is 243, Perrin needs 200. Oh. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. I guess this is the first one I'm challenging then. Coming. Oh, if it isn't Harmonia. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please, follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. Okay. I guess we're doing a trial over here first. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I really am sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League Harmonia. Of course, it's true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun though, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. One of my group mates in my game design class this past semester was recently playing Pokemon Platinum for the first time. And first time, like, experiencing Pokemon games through that as he was playing it on his laptop. I was like, oh, you're, uh, playing Pokemon Platinum. And he was like, wait, how do you know it's that one? Because the Pokech has two buttons. He's like, what? Are you like a Pokemon master? And <laughs> as he was playing, I was telling him a couple things. He's like, how do you know all this stuff? That I thought was kind of fun there. Um, 
<laughs> Ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz, Harmonia? Yeah. So let's see if I can prove myself as the Pokemon Master here. Great, I'll just get everything ready. Not as much of a Pokemon Master as I used to be. But yeah, basically it's Blaine here. A late trial, test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. Question one. All right, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. At first, I, I fully expected her to ask who's this Pokemon. I was gonna be like, oh, fuck. Oh no, also my print's done. Ugh. Hold on, let's grab it real quick. Plate here that way. Bend it. There we go. I can put the plate back on. There we go. Something like that. And then bada bing bada boom. 3D printed pot in this light green filament that I actually got for free. The uh, company that I order filament from over on Vancouver Island, they have a place in Victoria apparently. I ordered seven rolls of filament from them recently and the box that they sent perfectly held eight so they just threw in another one and it was this kind so i got this filament for free and it's an interesting green color i recently printed a funky looking dragon in this color but yeah so there's that another one of my little dragon scale pots i've probably printed like 30 or 40 of for all my bazillion different plants i still think i might prefer the metallic red filament that i have here for my apple sprouts i mean this is for a different apple sprout as well a different species um but yeah there's a, there's that. Do I want to 3D print anything else or do I just want to put out the 3D print cam for the stream now, now that it's done? I wonder. I don't know if I have anything else in mind that I want to print. Maybe if I stream a whole lot throughout the day with something tomorrow, maybe I'll print something a little bit longer. Like one of those dragons that I recently printed. Here, let's put that there. Another pot. Ready made for me. That took about three hours, it looks like, from how long I've been streaming. A little bit under three hours. That's not half bad for the time. All right, here we go, and I read that, and with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric-type Pokemon, well-known for producing electricity within its body. I guess I can take 3D print cam out of the stream title now. That's what I can do. But yeah, um, I'm not asking you to, but I do want to postulate. I've heard the word postulate before, but I don't actually know what it means. I've never had it defined for me. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Go for the part of the body that you think is correct. The cheeks, right? If you 3D print, does that count as artistic according to Twitch's rules? That is a good question. I don't know. Because it could count as artistic, you know? Just make a model of that. Ding, ding, you got it. Pikachu stores his electricity in the electric sacks in his cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you get a little shock, but don't you think that they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quiz question. But... In all seriousness, translating over to like more serious time for a hot second. I just kind of wanted to experiment with a 3D printing cam today just for, you know, something else to be using the cam for as an interesting idea. So, you know, anyone that tuned into the stream to stream or is watching this on YouTube after the fact, I'd be curious to know, does the 3D printing cam seem enjoyable? Is it something interesting to watch the progress of come together on the side here that's being made? Is it just distracting? Is it unnecessary? Or how are you feeling? And that might make me decide on whether it should be a recurring thing here. Because I wouldn't mind having a secondary cam. I had one for a long time here. You know, it was the Dougie cam. But unfortunately, we're not able to do that anymore. So I'm just thinking about what, what might be another interesting use there. I know that it's not going to be anywhere near as good as the Dougie cam ever was. But, you know. Here's something where it's an idea that I figured might be fun. I don't know. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. But yeah, so that's why I wouldn't mind some opinions on the matter. It's thoroughly unobtrusive and harmless. It could take it or leave it. It is neat, though. Okay. Maybe it's the kind of thing that's good for layouts like this where it wouldn't be in the way of anything. But maybe not use it in layouts where it would be in the way. Potentially. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Part of Venonat's body acts like a radar. Go for the part of the body you think is correct. Uh, the, the, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's close, but incorrect. I don't see why you think that, though. I'll give you a hint. What we're looking for is quite a large part of Venonat's body. Now, guess again. Okay, so I guess we have infinite tries. Eyes? Okay, it's the eyes. But yeah, bungled this one because you overthought. 
Damn it, you forgot about Pal World and it's only available on Xbox, Microsoft, and Steam. Is that out now? Ding, ding, ding. That's right. It's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar. Isn't Venonat more adorable when you think about how it sees the whole world we can't see? A whole world we can't see. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Oh, am I supposed to look for the cracked one? Can we have my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Maybe these three Sinistee siblings. Here's question three. Sinistee like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three Sinistee is an antique form Sinistee, meaning it found a real antique cup. So which Sinistee has the real deal? Isn't there something where it's like you look for a crack? Something? Yeah, they're showing the behind of them. Looking the same. How about when this one turns around again? Yeah, it looks the same on the back. I don't know how you identify it on Sinisty. I know that's like a 1% chance of being the real thing. Yours is the middle. So, it, oh, and you have two tries. Okay. Because... On the underside there? I literally do not see a visual difference. I don't know how to identify the antique form Sinistee. I mean, I can look it up. Antique form Sinistee. It's the middle? I want to know what it is I'm looking for, though. I want to know why it is the way that is. Oh, it was the underside then. Chip pot or cracked pot. Call Sinistee over, then it's like go play and use the R bumper to zoom. There's a mark on the underside there. Yeah, on the bottom rim that you can see as it's turning. Yeah, that you don't see there. That's a way that's set apart. Okay, weird. And I think people would shiny hunt for the 1% real Sinistee. Ding, ding, you spot it. That's right, an antique form Sinistee can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. That doesn't matter whether they're antique foam or phony form. They're also darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Also, can I just say how much charm Pokemon has lost over time? Compare this to the last time that a quiz was done in a mainline game, which I believe was Let's Go. And it's just like night and day. Hold on, let me see if I can find it in my playthrough. Hold on, because this is... The games are literally just getting worse and worse quality. Let me show you what I mean. Let's see here. Let me find my Pokemon main series playlist. Control F for it. Main series adventures. Forgive what... I'm going to pull up my Pokemon Let's Go playthrough, which is going to look really, really awful. I made really shitty layouts back then. So just ignore that. Let's see here. Yeah, this video here. Part 31 of my Pokemon Let's Go playthrough here. Here. Where's the display capture one that I made here? I put it right there. So Blaine's gym when you're doing the quiz, what it looked like was this. Hold on. Or maybe if I back out a little bit more. Look, there was like a whole set and everything here. There's the, all the little fold-out chairs for a small audience to come here and watch as you're doing this quiz. That's like a whole studio set. There's all the lights and stuff. And then when you answer a question right, he comes in and he's all hype. Yeah, look at this. When you answer the question right and the final judgment is, you're absolutely correct and he does that and then he jumps off. I'm getting a kick out of it there. Congratulations, you won a Blaine doll. And then the Blaine doll shows up like that and it looks like that. That looks like it's right out of some old goofy anime. And it just had a lot of charm. So, yeah, we go through and then you, uh, yeah, when you lose, then you do the battle. You're close, but ultimately wrong. Challenge must now face a penalty match against one of the trainers I instruct. And it comes out from behind the curtains there. And then you just keep on playing. Instead of just being like, nope, you got it wrong. Choose one of the other things. You do a battle there in the, there in the studio. And it... It has a lot of charm. And look at the background there and everything with that. But now, 
However many years later, Let's Go came out in, what, 2018? And now it's 2023. So now, five years later, when you think the games would only be getting better, all that we can be bothered with nowadays, with an extra cost with DLC at that, is standing in the middle of a field in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere, and... <laughs> Like, no extra emotes, no other no other charm. She's just pointing at the characters and answer a question, see if you get it right. It's so bland. How is this series continuing to take steps back? This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know? I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me, okay? Oh, man. Oh, do I have to follow? All right, guys, mix yourselves up real good. Perfect, now we're ready for question four. Which one of these is the pinkish mini that I first showed you? I really wish you'd ask like, which one's the blue one or something? Just to throw you off. That would've been really funny, actually. Would've been so good. Hello, hello, Reggie Bum. How's it going? Yeah, let's go give a shit. You wish it was fun? It, there's different ways to have fun with it. And it depends on how you're playing it slash who you're playing it with. In two games, we'll have another and we'll continue the loop. Yeah, just wait. Another few games from now, we're going to have another quiz, and it's going to be even more bland than this one. <laughs> yeah, that's because Let's Go Pikachu Eevee is Kanto-related, and anytime when Game Freak tries to make a Kanto game, they'll put more effort on Kanto than other regions. For example, look how bad BDSP is. Game Freak was not BDSP. Uh, BDSP was not Game Freak, is what I meant to say, but I got the two swapped around there. Uh, even if they return to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Favorite character the DLC, Lacey? Aren't mini or adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Yeah, I guess so. Oh look, here comes Gramble. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. Oh, my Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah, that's fair. There's a little sweetie as well on my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question five, will evolve Gramble here. Gramble is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granville, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? How am I supposed to know a personal thing? Legs. I don't know. I honestly expected it to turn out to be something weird. But I, was, I figured I'd go with the safest one first just in case. Ding ding, that's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five of my questions right, which means... Congratulations, Harmonia. You've officially cleared my elite trial. Wow, that was such an amazing challenge that I feel better off for having experienced. So much better than Blaine's. Why don't we head back to the plaza?